Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all and shoe sizes, my name is Tony, come on, yes, you read right. This is a soft reboot. What? Reboot? Who says reboot? Soft reboot of the Tony Cole show. Now let's call this season 2 episode 1. But if you're expecting this to be piss your pants funny like the last episodes, uh, don't. And instead go watch those or, you know, something like Archer on Netflix. But especially the first five seasons are amazing. Uh, the reason is uh, I'm driving, like you probably can guess. The interior of a car and me going 100 kilometers per hour, so that might be an indicator. But uh, I'm driving home uh, to my other home up north. And the funny thing is, uh, I've lived there for almost a year now, and I've never made this trip driving myself. So. Thinking about that now, that this might end up actually being quite funny, or then you'll just be looking at my amazing face for six and a half hours. So enjoy! <laughs> Studios is on a mini 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 break. Uh, we've been doing videos, films pretty straightforward for the past six months, every day, every week. And just uh, about a month ago, we wrapped on our biggest project ever the Seven Jack Stone film, End of the Line. And editing is still a work in progress, but it's looking like it's gonna be well over an hour, so I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, and that's gonna come out August 9th, so. Stay tuned for that. Uh, then, lo for those of you who know me through NFCW, Backyard Wrestling, good news. Uh, we're finally back on track with our shows and everything up to date has been uploaded, except for the Ninth Anniversary show. Think about that, nine years we've been around. We've been wrestling each other in the backyard for nine years. That's uh, that's crazy as well. Anyhow, that show should be out sometime soon and uh, next month, July, should be the Destiny Rumble. So, that's a... Uh, it's an interesting time of year. It's the Mania season and everybody who's gonna be a part of the Destiny Rumble, because I'm gonna be a part of the Destiny Rumble, you better bring your cups, because I'm going boss of the wall if that's what it takes to go to the main event of Tramp Mania. And Tramp Mania should be in August as well, and coincided with the end of the line release, so a lot of big releases coming in August. But in addition, just yesterday and this weekend we've been filming some other wrestling stuff had a three really nice matches just yesterday with three people I've never worked with in the ring. So huge respect to those guys. They stepped up and uh, there's gonna be an announcement video. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes before this video. It should, and if it does, it's right here. But if it doesn't, here's some I'm lazy text. Anyhow, that's gonna be really cool, but I can't tell more about that right now. And then there's gonna be another video that should be out before this one, or then it's not either. Featuring me and a certain someone who's gonna be featured in BIW Mania 3 uh, this coming summer, hopefully. Or by the fall, if Ricky Shade fucks up everything as per usual. But nonetheless, uh, it's gonna be interesting. So a lot of wrestling coming up soon and a big film coming up soon and of course there's gonna be a lot of films but just uh, maybe lay low for a month or so before the big release and then we're back on track. Should be. And you know when I say should be, it usually isn't that way. Uh, Holy fuck! Yeah, just to be clear, that wasn't a horrifying traffic accident. The GoPro just... Oh wait, where am I going? Not there. Not there. 
<laughs> I was about to drive into someone's yard. Hopefully, there's no cops around. There's no. Okay. Now let's do this. And now I could talk for another hour about our oncoming projects, but now I just have to flip off the camera because this scenery is fucking beautiful. single time around this region it has started thundering like the end of days this time's no different and I know that sounded like it's a bad thing but I fucking love thunder but then again I've never driven while it's happening so yeah let's see if I like it if I turn into beef roast but then again, during a thunderstorm, a car is one of the most safe places, and I'm so hungry. Okay, so, uh, it's about to get real nasty in here. That's, uh, that's... Jesus Christ. That... Ah, oh, it looks worse in real life than it does on camera, because that's like pitch black. Pitch black. That's like shit scary looking, but that's also pretty freaking cool. Oh my god. I think the best time ever to go like this. Like, I've never been this excited, but I've never been this scared in my life. This is like, this is insane. It, it doesn't look half of what it is on camera. Like, uh, I was about to stop pretty soon, but I'm not sure if I want to, because I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit by lightning the second I open the door. Oh my lord, this, this is intense, like, if there's a god of thunder, he's having one hell of a battle right now. Well, I took the stop anyway, and it actually looks a little bit like the storm is kind of easing off. Uh, it really hits nicely a couple of times, but it's seeming a lot lighter now. Oh, this is a big place. Uh, well, on Finnish standards, this is a huge store. This is kind of a ma mall slash store. I always thought that this is just a store, but apparently there's a list of all the stores. So either there's a lot more places now or I've missed them previously. Nonetheless, it's been a really long time since I've been here the last time. And the last time I was here, I bought the Clock 17 that you've seen in a lot of our movies. and. And I just remember when we left the place and I was just... I don't think I've ever been that happy in my life. And then, think about that. Nothing makes a kid happier than getting a gun. Welcome to the 21st century. And also that day we filmed some wrestling. Uh, Zero Feltzer was the world champion for like the 16th time. And at that point he had held the title already for like 12 and a half days. I'm craving Subway so much. Mm. Mm. It was right about the storm, but... It's raining nicely. But it's a... Nature isn't. Yeah, it's kind of. It's 
just a nice kind of summer light, light summer rain. Mm. Scent of fresh grass mixed with Subway. Perfect. Okay, so there's fucking snow on the side of the road. What the fuck? Burger. Well, that's that's one hell of a burger. That's not one of the oddest English words for me to pronounce, a burger. If you try to have an active lifestyle and you do sports either as a hobby or you compete and you try to stay in shape like me, uh, but you still can't resist that occasional burger, well then treat yourself, don't take the worst option, but also seek out for the possible better option to what you normally have. Like, uh, some years ago I only had like a triple cheeseburgers. I didn't have them often, but it was still maybe a little bit too much, like, uh, to keep up with uh, the fitness level. And the fitness levels that I was supposed to be on in wrestling and so on. So now I try to make some healthier choices. Like now, you know, shoot for that little chicken burger. It's amazing. I'm still not saying that it's a good option, but it pretty damn sure tastes good. It's a crap lot of these road construction sites and that made me realize something. There's this Finnish comedian, uh, you my English speaking friends may know him as Ismo. He was on Conan a couple of years ago talking about shit. He literally talked about shit for 10 minutes and became famous. Uh, anyway, a couple of years earlier than that, he made a song about this very situation, the road construction. And uh, this trip, this journey, has made me realize that every single word that he 
says, that he sings in that psalm is a hundred percent true because I'm a hundred percent certain that this same road construction was here last summer and the summer before that and even the summer before that one that's four years like okay uh, I don't mean no disrespect, I know they're doing their best and this work is super important, like our system would not work without these roads, all these connections, the transportation, everything. For four years, seriously. all of the road construction going on on the main road uh, it slows the traffic down a little bit so Google Maps had me go on like a, I don't know what's that actually called in English but a sand road what can what else could it be called a sand road in the middle of nowhere for over a hundred kilometers and now I'm back on the highway. Whoa, dude, fuck! All I can say is I've never, never, ever loved tarmac as much as I do right now. Alright, well, I'm almost home, so I'm gonna wrap this up for today. And I promise next time this is gonna be like a more traditional. Tony called him. This was a one-time thing. I really wanted to document what happened, and oh boy, that happened a lot. But uh, yeah, next time it's gonna be a little more having more friends around, filmmaking, wrestling. If that's an adjective. But other than, stay tremendous.